All right, good morning. We got day one. What's up, fuckers? <laughs> what's up? Can't really see you guys. I don't know how good it is. All right, so what's everyone think about expectations? Expectations for today. What do, what do we expect to accomplish today? I'm thinking if we can get the general area of where we're going, uh, figure out where we're going, make a game plan. Maybe we can do some exploration today, but def definitely make a game plan for tomorrow. Right. I because agree. I agree with that. That's if we can get a hold of Tom. <laughs> so, okay, so, all right. Hold on one second. Yes, uh, and cut. <laughs> so, I gotta pull this shit over real quick. <laughs> what do you, what expectations, Jess? I don't know. Hopefully, my expectation is to be able to talk to Tom. Dude, look at that fireworks. He, place. he hadn't even responded yet. Or look at how big that fireworks place is. Look at how big that fireworks place is. Well, hopefully, he wakes up. Hold Get out of my moment in the yeah, camera, bro. I, I, I'm stealing I'm a lot. Yeah, I don't want to end it before we start, but at the same time, I. We all know how I feel. <laughs> yeah, this, my whole thing is just be open-minded about this, and there's possibilities that some of the stuff we might tell us might be true, and some of the shit that he might be telling us might be just off the fucking chain. Yeah. It's all right. Right. We're here at Waffle House. We're here at the Waffle House. So this is where we're supposed to meet Tom this morning. Um, the background music's perfect. We tried calling him, but he hasn't answered yet. So. If we get catfished, we paid a lot of money to get catfished. What's that? We paid a lot of money to get catfished. Yeah. So I hope we don't get catfished. So we drove by the address that we believe is his house. Um, but right now, just a so, waiting game. Well, this guy has con has been contacting us for a couple of years now. And if he doesn't respond, this is... I don't know what to say. Well, thank God for Google. We can drum up some uh, other ideas and switch gears and go uh, check on some other things we've been hearing out Absolutely. hearing about around here. So it's not gonna be a problem. Those who find this video, <laughs> that, that's this is the last person that saw us alive. <laughs> we fought. We fought till the very yeah, end. Just so you know, Mike went down <laughs> screaming. Got a nice <laughs> Pretty nice scenery, since our area is all flat. Flatlanders. Yeah, we're flatlanders. This, this is what I'm used to. All right, so okay. I think we're almost to where we're going. Going into a little valley right now. Yeah, so initial initial estimate is the guy seems pretty legit. So we're on our way in the middle of nowhere. We haven't seen a person in the past or, 20 minutes. or house in a long time. Damn, we're rolling. So we made it out to one of the locations where um, this is supposed to be one of the pyramids of stack of stone. Got it? In there, I want to see that. But supposedly, because of the entrance, he just. And we're going to see if we can find a way in this place. This is supposed to be one of the pyramids that he said shows it on uh, on the rock that he found. Where'd he go? He bought it. We got time up there. Look at Jesse go, man. He doesn't mess around. Hello? 
dog. Come on. Yeah. You want to talk like a dog, man? Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, man. You got to be careful, dude. This is slippery. Yeah. There ain't no poison ivy around here, is there? Who, me? No, I'm fucking used to that shit by now. So we're climbing up to... There's supposed to be a pyramid. Go that way. The other way? Yeah. Right here. Go on, I was like, man, I made it all the way up this high, now you gotta go back the other way. <laughs> is, that, is that the entrance? Yeah, okay. Can we go in there? Has anybody ever been in here? I've been in there as far as it goes, and I'm going very far. It's a fair round corner of the pool. I'd like to go in there just to work, see if there's anything. Okay. Yeah, man, I need a fucking spot of stick. Give me some. Guys, spider whip. Oh, yeah, we can go too far. Yeah, that's it. But it looks like it keeps going further down. Oh, yeah. I can see that. I wonder where it oh, goes to. echo in here. Hello, hello, hello. I just want to see what's in here. By the way, this is Tom. He's the one that's been showing us all this stuff that he's found. We're going to try to make something out of it. We found one supposed cave. cave. Nope, that's the wrong one. And we, there we go. partially went in there to get some video footage, which you'll see. And it's completely 100% filled with bullshit. That's what this cave is, bullshit. Bullshit cave, bullshit temple, bullshit. Right now we're climbing to the peak of the Mount, or the Colosseum Mount, but we believe that it's 
the ladies are preparing me. The outside edge is solid. The inside is a small stone filled in dirt. It's not all perfectly. Where's what do you consider a peak right up there? So Tom is trying to say that this is possibly some sort of pyramid. But I'm not gonna jump on that bandwagon. This is nothing more than a mountain made out of rocks. I'm not sure why he came to the conclusion of it being a pyramid, but this is clearly not man-made, ever. <laughs> yeah. You see how it's porous? Yeah. There's like a shell in this rock and stuff. It's weird. Aaron, what is that rock? That's actually not a rock. See what that is? Coral? That's a tree. Oh, a petrified? It's a petrified tree. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that is actually pretty cool. Now, have you looked around on this side to see if there's anything coming in from this side, Tom? Any entrances maybe from this side? stone that resembles possibly a pyramid. Man, I guess I was right in the mouth. All over the place, man. Hey, there ain't no poisonous spiders out here, I don't know how to drink. So, let me explain to you some simple geology. There's a river down there. The river is formed because the Earth's crust pushed two rock formations above the surface over millions of years, which created these higher elevations, created the valley in between where the river is. I mean, there's not, there's not a prayer chance in this universe. Well, what if it was even somebody had made that tunnel? It was obviously used for something. It doesn't mean it was used for anything. It could be naturally occurring. Like I try to explain to you a lot of times with the... What's that? Interesting. This, this right here is the map on how to get through that tunnel. <laughs> Mike. This is no problem. Okay. No, this is a natural map. Yeah, you like know how I know it's not a pyramid, Mike? See how we're coming up, coming up, coming up. Steep side there, <laughs> steep side here. We keep coming up, keep coming so, up. And again, let me give you a simple job lesson. Millions of years ago, the Earth's crust shifted and pushed these layers of Earth's crust up, created a valley, created a river. Oh, that is a valley. I just need clarification. 
That's yeah. valid. This is one hundred percent. This is one hundred percent pot field job. All right, let's boys. let's just keep that to ourselves and make the analysis afterwards. Okay, that's yeah. fine. That's, that's fine. Yeah, the case. What do you got here, Tom? What's their representation of a temple? You know, it's, it's one of the structures there at the Ben Springs. And then right here is this like bug looking creature thing that actually is on that that little brass brick and their spaceships. And what's it's built on. Yeah, but what makes you think it's that temple? Because where I got this. Oh, you got it from that temple? Yeah, I got it. See the writing. I gotta clean it off again. I, let, I was letting it dry so I could rub off the access. And then you can see what the writing and stuff is. It's just covered in writing. Okay, we're at the Missouri State Park here, He's and uh, Tom is trying to tell us that this is a one giant pyramid, but I just can't bite down on this. But what's kind of weird is, I came out here walking, and I noticed there's this rock with a flat surface. There's another rock right here with a flat surface. Now, why is that here? In the middle of the fucking, in the middle of the woods? I have no freaking idea. I mean, how, how odd is that to be so perfectly flat? I mean, it looks like maybe it used to be a, some kind of a road or something that came through here. I mean, that's probably the only interesting thing that, that I see here. That's the most interesting thing. Do I believe this is a pyramid? Probably, absolutely not. Something was here. I mean, why is these stones so flat? I can't even lift it. I mean, that's perfectly flat. Something, something was going on here. I don't know what was here. But something definitely was here. Maybe a road, a bridge, something that came through here at one time. And here's another flat one right here. Why are these here? Okay, now, that's what we found here. And I don't think that... I don't think this is a pyramid, but you never know. There's no way of really possibly being able to tell. Anyhow, we found it seems to be a flat rock. I don't know if you can tell. I need to try to get the perfect angle. But it's it's a flat rock and it's in the middle of nowhere. Tom's trying to say it might be a map. That's a map. Of the area. But it's pretty flat. And there's another one here which you can actually see that it was almost like stacked perfectly on it. And why would this be out here? And you can see there's none around. I really look at this here. Very interesting. Very interesting. See the man and the woman? You stand on this side, you see. Woman and man. Oh my god, look, come here. He's actually right, dude. I see can it? see without putting the markers on this. Don't ask me how. I could take a piece of paper and scribble on it. Dude, that's and interesting. And there would be an image on there. It's unreal how it looks. Looks like almost handprints on here. Hey Todd, Jesse, come over here. Hey, you guys want to come over here? Look, a little turtle. 
So the reason why this isn't like this, this is the coolest plane today. Because waters ran down it. Correct. I mean, to me, it sticks right out. That's that's the only interesting thing that I found was here. I mean, this is the only part that I, as far as I went. I mean, that looks like a. I mean, Todd, come here. Look at this. This is look at this piece of rock, dude. You can't tell me this is natural, man. There's no way this is natural. I mean, look look straight underneath how perfectly fucking flat that is. This one right here. Look how perfectly flat. No, you shouldn't be fucking completely flat like this. Yeah. Show me another. Flat. Flat like that, dude. Look at that the circle flat. on it. That one's flat. This one right here is flat. Look at that the one right there is flat. This one right here is flat. Every rock keeps sitting here is flat. Right? Every rock is flat. Flat rock. Flat rock. Flat rock. Yeah, flat but I'm rock. talking flat about in, in circumference. If that, flat rock. Okay, it might be flat, but I'm saying in, in, a, in a, almost looks like a table. Uh, just I'm just that's these were bigger ones of those. And they broke uh, look, sandstone is very coarse. It breaks apart very easily. That should have busted into a thousand pieces. I know sandstone. People build out of it all the time. This has been baked to an extreme temperature to where it, it becomes stone in the middle. And the angles on this are perfect angles. Not everyone is perfect because they weren't perfect. You think the first pyramids in the world were, were perfectly symmetrical? Yeah, actually. I do. I'm pretty sure that they've determined that they're amazed how people with no technology were able to, supposedly okay, no technology, were able to make Mayan, everything so explain in Mayan, perfect square. And, and Incas, they have round pyramids, oval shape. Every culture has a Oh, look at that. That's an Indian head right there. What makes you think that there's something here, though? Oh, there's stuff over there that's got uh, Blackbeard's marking on it. B and B with a lightning bolt with a skull. I got stones right there behind that building that's sitting on a stump with his markings on it. Yeah. I was to say that there's something here, though, because it's buried underneath that hill. In, inside of a tunnel. There's another entrance right here, but it's deep. I hit the structure, I got a hole over there where I hit the structure of it, but it's another 10, 15 foot deep. Back here, which it showed me that there was, in, there was multiple entrances. Back here, it's easy to get to. That's why I saw looking back here on it. Yeah, and what treasure are we, are we looking for? Well, the Blackbird treasure, there's 15 chests there. You definitely think it's black. Yeah, there's, there's markers. Oh. He says there's markers, but I gotta, I gotta go see this. These guys gonna find it? And he says that this is the map to the area. Best to see this when it starts getting dark. Man, it's just grown over. So we're heading towards the back of this massive property. Uh, I guess it's been part of the family for a long time. There's somewhat of a little road here, but we couldn't get our car back here. So we're just hiking.
pretty nice out. Temperature is about 88 degrees. All right, see you in a bit. Around the corner. Oh, uh, here's some kind of old structure. Some kind of shed, maybe. Oh, this is Blackbeard's treasure. That's, at least that's what he's saying. He says there's a marking with a skull and lightning bolt. This I gotta see. And this, is, and this is it? This is the mark. This is it right here. And that's the tunnel, the start of the tunnel? Look. This is it right here. So what do you see on that? Take some pictures with your phone. Let me take a picture. Right here's Blackbeard's marking right there. And how far does, does this tunnel go? I just dug it down to where I hit the bedrock part. I mean, is that as deep as it goes right now? That's as deep as it goes right now. So how far? Maybe 10 feet in? Right here. Back now was this bolt. was there any hole here at all when no. you got here? No. So you made There's this. another little hole over here where I, where I pulled that stone out of. So this is basically There's another hole right here where so, I started to go straight down into it. So this was handmade? Yeah. And you said you only gone maybe yeah. a foot. So you gotta keep no. you gotta dig all the way through it? It's straight down from the right, right to the bottom of this right here. Okay. Not going back. The Indians have to build this thing. If you look, pictures of the walls on the inside. Damn, I ain't got my flashlight. Right there. Yeah. Uh, so you haven't dug too far, man. It's just right here. Yeah. But it's loose dirt. It's not, it's not packed. It's not. Yo, well, as of right now, uh, we're heading to another Holdman tunnel that's out here. And I don't know what to think of everything I've seen so far. I'm very open minded. But man, I have no idea what the hell is going on here. Where you at? Now, did you just say there was another tunnel back down here? Yeah. How did that happen? It's under Damn. here. Yeah, in between the like in between each Yeah. You say there's a tunnel right here? Yeah. It's underneath it. I went in there. Right. All caved in. A hole. It all got wet and just caved in. I don't think it's moving that big thing. Right So I was working on right here to get to the rock ledge so I could find the opening. You can get your DPR and go through here. I'll probably find it. You want to set that up for tomorrow, Mike? And GPR it? Yeah. And so we could, we'll be able to see if there's any tunnels. So here's the map. This is that. My phone's in the car, you don't want to get to that? And that's the same like the other one that's over there. 
that what you're telling me? This is one of the underground cities. This is one cavern. This is all the passageways and everything. You sure we're not here right now? Yeah, we're right here. See, look, this is the back right here. If you're looking at it, it's on this side. And you can go here or you can go down this. All these little this little passageways. It's kinda of, kinda of a little bit on the crazy side, but could be. I mean, I, I'm not gonna. Uh, nowadays, uh, you can't doubt anything. We can GPR it. I GPR that right there and see how, if it does, if there is a tunnel, it keeps going. I mean, the only way to really, hey, to really to see if it goes anywhere or not is to fucking GPR that and see how far back it goes. Or if it dead ends. If it dead ends, obviously, there's nothing there. I used to live on Fairfax, right there behind the budget. We were just cleaning out our flower bed because we were just planting flowers. And I started finding these Indian stuff. How far away is that from here? A mile, mile and okay. a half. It's just okay. right on the other side of town. All right, go on. Um, the thing about this, these locations, this is where the Indians would bed. I mean, they'd live here, they'd live over there. I mean, Lebanon on that side was mostly a lake that ran into three rivers. Well ships would come up through there and trade with Indians, like Blackbeard. That's where I, how I found the Blackbeard stuff. There's marker stones I was going to take you and show you. Yeah, but how, well, how would Blackbeard get over here? Well, how did you find... The how, river. The river comes right up through Texas. So this is stuff Missouri that you, river you just river. read? This is I mean, stuff you just all read? These river, no. All these river lines and stuff all disappeared when they... Uh, as America became America. And then when they built the dam, the very first dam up there, it cut off all the river, rivers. None of the rivers could flow. Okay. Lakes, lakes you know, that were here disappeared. Do you know? Do you know about what time that was? The time frame? It would have to be early 1800s, late before before, before became America became America. Okay. So, yeah, right mid 1700s. Yeah. When, right. you know, when they bought. Built so go, so go back to the finding the rocks and I, I'm just I'm just trying to get a feel of how you got the locations because they're so spread out. Flower bed, I found some stones. Right. Indian stones. And the one had a woman's face on it. And I just could not let go of that stone. I still got it. I mean, this is over six years ago, seven years. I carry that stone everywhere. I, it's it, it's in my car. I mean, I, I don't go nowhere without it. On the back of it's three circles, with three circles. And it's like a, people call it a witch's stone. But it also has my initials in it. And right next to an image of a man with a mohawk, I mean, it's just, it's covered in images. And ever since I got that stone, weird shit's happened to me. I mean, after me and my wife split up, I mean, I, fi I finally got the balls to tell my wife I was done. She cheated on me for years. I was faithful for 19 years and seven months. I tried to go and cheat, I couldn't do it. You know, I had morals about it, but, so for the actual location, so like, yeah, it, it's, it's like, a map. like, okay. That stone was a map. And you just happened to know the area, so you knew where you were going. I talked to my grandmother, Dioma Chatfield. She's full blooded Indian. She's passed away now. Uh, she lived in New Mexico. That's true, con truth and consequence. And uh, she took a, a couple of pictures of the center, and she I asked her, "What is, what is that triangle? Is that an arrow? What 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 is that? You know, because it's got like a little line, like a river. She says, it's a map, and that's a temple." Like a pyramid, and that's what led me to that pyramid. Over there. Talking and about the first one. The first one I showed you. Yeah. So. And it's a perfectly symmetrical triangle on that, on that stone. Yeah, and but that's not. A, but, that's so not but that's not a triangle where we were at. It doesn't look like a triangle. The one we were at. The first one we were at. Yeah, one. Well, we got what I want to like. But I'm. Yeah, so we're and I'm not. I'm not trying to get like condescending. I'm trying to get like really so like. Backstory. So were you like? heading that direction and then you started feeling like that was 
the area to be in or no, my grandmother told me to look for markers uh that would lead me lead me to it okay and there's a there's a skull when you turn when, as you turn the stone it turns di different images well i found this, uh, a skull well it's gonna be weird but i'm gonna be completely truthful I went to bed because I was going to leave Lebanon about 10.45. The only thing I was wearing was my boxers. And I started dreaming that I'm standing in this field holding this clay looking ball about this big around. It was light and I could rattle it. Well, there were stones inside of it. And the fog was like there was a band of fog going this way, there was a band of fog going this way, and then there was a band of fog going this way. And you could see in between it, and it was cool. I was like, this is really cool. Well, and the fog starts swirling in front of me and starts talking, and I can't understand the word it's saying. And I have to interrupt it in the middle of it, saying, man, this is like the coolest freaking dream I ever had, but I can't understand what you're saying. And the, somebody else starts talking while the other guy's talking, and he says he wants to give you his power. You're going to see. You're going to see everything. And then the sun pops up, and I realize I'm not sleeping. I, I drove to Richland. That's a good 30-minute drive from here to a river access where a tree, a, a sycamore tree, massive sycamore tree, had blown over. I took the tools with me to dig this hole underneath this tree where the tree had fallen over and pulled the stone out. And I don't remember it. I don't. Like that block. That block, I went for a walk at 2 o'clock in the morning because I could not sleep. I was restless. Next thing I know, I'm over 15 miles away from my house. And the last thing I remember is I hear my Uncle Lex's dogs barking. That's like not even a quarter of a mile from my house. And next thing I know, I'm standing in a three-foot hole, digging a hole for the shovel that I stole from somebody because I didn't walk away to the house for the shovel. It's none of my shovels. I left it on the side of the road next to a house that you know, was the closest place I came from. I mean, so basically, this shit is weird. So, so the but the locations were just kind of like right. kind of shown to you. Okay, that's right. what I'm just trying to figure out because you know, like one's way that way, then we drive all the way to the rain. state park. I mean, after that. The shit I see, like the story of your lives, it's on your skin. It's written on your skin. It can be shown. You can you can rub ink on your arm, and it can be it can be shown to you. I see it normally, like it's normal. I, it's it's weird. It's like your whole top back, top your body's tattooed. I'm telling people this shit. They think you're nuts. Okay, what do you, read me. What do, you, what do you see about me? Well, you're short. You're European in origin, but you're still Egyptian. Everyone is Egyptian. Anunnaki. I'm an Anunnaki. You know what that is? All seeing eye. No, that's the Anunnaki symbol. Oh, with the all seeing eye. Yeah. What's that symbol? It's not the Holy Cross. That's the sun, the moon, and north, set out, east and west. That's a symbol that's older than time. You know, like Poseidon or Zeus. That's their sign, sign of the gods. I, hmm. I dream that up. That's pretty sweet. That. Had it tattooed on my arm. Had to. It was a force. That's this thing's old too. Damn. Now the scorpion. I'm a Scorpio. So the only thing that we haven't seen yet is the temples. And you know where there's where there should be sin some? We went to one. That pyramid is the temple. The first the temple's place. underneath this ground. The temples. When Plato went across the Atlantic Ocean, 
had seen Atlantis. It was a giant island covered in temples and pyramids. That's what Missouri was. It used to be a giant island surrounded by a big giant ocean bay covered in pyramids and temples. Every square inch of Missouri is pyramids and temples. You want to know where Atlantis is? It's up in Cuba. There's a big stone circle hills in a big circle. That was the main main structure right there. I mean, you could see it from the sky. Yeah, really? I've got to look that up, man. Yeah. Google Earth. <laughs> you can see it from the sky. So what is, what do you think is the most interesting part or the most significant find that you've ever made? This right here? You won't believe what's under here. I, I feel it in my bones. Every day I try to come out here and do this, and I try to get people to help me. Because there's more riches under our feet than you well, can ever imagine. We can probably hit it with a mouth. Fuck, mm -hmm. it didn't bring, I didn't bring, uh, I should have brought the fucking uh, TM. The TM goes 30 feet deep. You might have to come back up and drive. So we can bring. I mean, we can still, I mean, run the GPR on it. GPR will show us something. At least it'll show us if this tunnel actually goes like somewhere. Said, like you said, it's the map. Right here, maybe, be one of the entrances. That's a marker stone. It's marking something. You know, my grandpa, they dumped shit out here for years. And all I can do is the best time to find it is when it rains because you can find out where the water's going. And I can't get no one to come out. Interesting. But you got us to come out here. Well, it's, yeah. an, it's an interesting story, man. It's just that it's, it's, hard to it's well. It's, the reason it's hard to believe is because I mean we're we're looking on the surface. You know what I mean? We're not seeing. You know, you're saying there's the tunnels. Is there tunnels underneath here? Possibly. You know what I mean? We can scan it and we can see if there's traces of tunnels. I think we should do that tomorrow, actually. Just scan this area here to see if there is anything, a cavern or anything underneath here, so we can at least tell them to quit fucking digging if there isn't anything here. Okay. But we should be able to tell. You know? Alright, well, let's go ahead and walk out. This battery's gonna die on this camcorder. Alright. So here we are. Day two of Loonville. Yesterday we did not find any real conclusive evidence showing the existence of any type of structures or tunnels or underground passages or temples or pyramids. Um, I guess everything can be left up to interpretation by the person telling the story. But Let them get it cleared out of the way. As of now, no real solid evidence that would all make us pursue any type of further investigation. We did, however, want to come back today, run the GPR over a couple areas just to get some readings. So, but we'll keep you updated. So just to get this on recording, Aaron just attempted to take my life by throwing a bottle at me, but luckily, Maybe you shouldn't talk shit. Jesse intervened. My cat like reflexes. Yes, with his cat ninja skills and protected it. Deflected the bottle. I'm not even sure where it went. But it was probably an ancient bottle. From the Aztecs. Remove my divining rod. <laughs> hey, you know that's illegal, right? Using a divining rod? No, a grown man touching a kid's penis. Maybe <laughs> 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 some percent viable right here. Right yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Chop those couple of branches like that out of the way. These, these small ones, get these things out of the way. Thank you.
Well, it shows there's a cavity. Right here, so I was headed the right direction. Well, let me see. Move this thing out of here because it's metal. Just in and out of the place this moment. Just caught on video. Yeah. Look at this. Fucking ticks on Mike's legs. Building a Building. Look at that. Tick right there. Mike, Mike, feeling Sorry, Mike's in serious mode. No, it's not connected. This area all behind us, um, we wanted to scan the entire area to get some. Uh, readings of what was below the the earth um, quite a large mound of dirt that runs the entire length of the property um, got a few couple little hits uh, I couldn't be next to the mic the whole time recording so I'm not sure what the data is going to tell us so I need to wait for him to interpret it whether or not they are you know good sized caverns or natural anomalies you know man made man made versus natural so um yeah we're gonna go ahead and uh we got an appointment that we got to meet up with someone here a geologist in the area discuss some stuff get more history on the rocks um the type of rocks uh the formation of the caves that type of thing um but we're gonna sit down, review the data, and then I'll let you know what we find. So, like I said, we're gonna review the data, and then uh, we'll probably post or make another video of our findings and our conclusion of the area to determine if it's worth putting more time effort and resources. Uh, talk to you soon. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh. Right yeah, you weren't recording that, right? fashion. So, These guys really don't understand amazing. how good we are, and that's why we're treasure hunters. Man. So hey, this is our first solve. official trip. 15 minutes. We know how to solve oh, shit. Left. Left. <laughs> this is our good. first official trip out of state to debunk to a debunk fan. A fan, or to, to come and see what, what was going on here in misery. Uh, to debunk. So, all I gotta say is, we did our due diligence. We, we, went, with the, we went with the fan. We basically, we contacted a couple of local historians, a couple so, of local. So basically we contacted a geologist uh, anthropologist, which is what he was. He was an archaeologist, but he, he, was, he was an a anthropologist, archaeologist, yeah. a proctologist, a proctologist, <laughs> and a vaginologist. Yeah. Uh, we kind of, and we, we went and met with a couple people basically to try to get, you know, we're not familiar with misery. Missouri. Well, Missouri, what however you, you want that, however you to say it. We're not familiar with it, so, Missouri. I mean, I, I am used to, to, to mountain land basically. But this is a different animal here. Uh, no, and, and, and Aaron's right, comments. Man, I want to do this again. Yeah? Well, they're still open. Let's go right yeah. now. No, I'm talking, have about, to be up I'm talking about another, another adventure out of steam. Yeah. I agree. Oh, I agree. It was a lot of fun. It just shows you that we can solve problems. Yeah, while we were, we're good problems. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We came, we saw, we conquered. No, it was a it was good time, man. It was a good time. I'm glad, I'm glad we came. I'm glad we all got to experience this. I'm glad, honestly, I'm glad we got to come and do this together. That all of us got to come except for Lauren. So. Hey, where's the button?
Olympics. Any final thought? Uh, thank you, Misery, but I'll be happy to go home. Yeah, ditto. It's, hey, it's time to get back to uh, finding guest for this truck. Yeah, I agree. Yep. I agree. Jesse, final thought? Peace out. Word to your mother.